And uh, just on the world stage, um, it's probably going to be Tyson Fury against Dillian White. How do you see that fight going? Uh, Fury has to be the favorite for me. I think White, he doesn't have fast feet, he doesn't have fast hands. He has some power, but you know, if you can't really catch the guy, it doesn't really matter. So also Wilder, you know, Fu- uh, White, he loses his balance a lot, which Fury is going to take advantage of. And Fury is just too big for him and too smart, I think. Those, once again, are the words of Otto Bailene, and he gives his take on Dillian White taking on, challenging the WBC heavyweight champion, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. And it was a nice breakdown. Um, First off, I do wonder if any of this has to do with uh, the little bitterness of him not getting the Dillian White fight because you know he was scheduled to fight Dillian White and Dillian White had an injury that he wanted proof of having, which I don't think ever was produced. Um, they made it, they did a couple back and forth, but you know, that was a huge uh, land for Otto Vileen and an opportunity to just, that opportunity to just kind of fizz away, right? So I think uh, Otto Vileen may, he may have a little bit of bitterness, you know? may be jaded a little bit but is what he said had any truth to it well let's see uh first off i think that dillian white does have a balance problem so he was right about that you know um i I think that he was um he's a guy that he is wild um he is slower than Tyson Fury, but you know, they don't they don't have a lot of heavyweights that are really faster than Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury does have the size, but you know, as we've seen from himself, size really didn't matter when it came to him. But of course, Otto Vileen wasn't a guy that had slow feet and slow hands. Okay, he was a pretty quick guy for his size. Um, height. That could be a factor, maybe with the uppercut on the inside. But, I mean, other than that, I don't think that that fight is that that far apart. Why? For one, they know each other. If you sparred, fought amateurly, been in the ring with experience with a fighter, you know those fighters' habits, okay? You know those fighters' habits. And their habits goes as follows. People resort back to bad habits or their normal habits when they get fatigued or tired. We've seen Tyson Fury fatigued a bit. He does have a gas tank, though. You have to give him credit. You know, he go, he went balls to the wall with guys like Otto Vileen when I don't think he was in this best shape. I think he was overtrained when he fought Otto Vileen. Okay. But mind you, this, at the end of the day, he still got the job done. So, you know, you can't question the willpower and heart of Tyson Fury, okay? Even though I think Otto Vileen was supposed to be another undefeated cherry pick, to be real with you. And then he was starting a new contract with ESPN. So keep that in mind. Um, But when I think of Tyson Fury and Dillian White, you know what comes to mind? Floyd Mayweather taking on. Marcos El Chino, Maidana. As you guys can remember, that was one competitive fight. And Maidana had similar. uh, He was a hard puncher. He was awkward. Um, He was rugged like Dillian White is. You know, I think Dillian White has far more skill than someone like Maidana. But they, you know, Maidana was an awkward guy and he landed shots over the shoulder hitting the temple of Floyd that hurt Floyd a few times in that first fight. The second fight was more dominant by Floyd, but the first fight, you know, he won four or five of those rounds. So, you know, um, that could very well be this case because Floyd, as we know, is highly technically defensively skilled. Okay. He was more offensive when he was pretty boy, but he was more defensive, you know, as he was older, as he called himself money, as he cocooned into that particular person. So, um, that fight may be another fight like that where Dillian White may have Tyson Fury, uh, his timing down, 
because timing beats ski speed all the time. Okay. And then since these guys have sparred together, they know each other, you know, and um, I'm just interested to see that now that Tyson Fury has slowed down a bit to, you know, to put more stank on those punches, sit down on those punches. I do question, okay, well, him trying to throw bombs or land that punch that hurts Dillian White, will he get caught with his own punch that hurts him or get caught with a punch himself that hurts him? So, you know, people talk about the speed, but they have to remember he's fighting under Javon or Javon Sugar Hill now. So it's not all about, you know what I mean? The, the type of fighting style that Otto Vilene was familiar with. OK, and that's exactly what I think he's really overlooking or underlooking or whatever. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Otto Vilene thinking that Tyson Fury will be too big, too strong. For Dilly and the Body Snatcher White, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.